Okay, so this video is going to be on the wiring of the solenoid pack. Okay, so we have the benefit of doing two machines at once <clears throat> and uh, making these videos post, inst post partial installation. So, um, yeah, you get the benefit. Okay, so this is one of the solenoid packs, uh, and basically it's got these... Uh, plastic nuts that hold on the actual coil around this uh, shaft basically and I think I showed you in a previous video there's these uh, detents they have corresponding locators and so you can locate this at different geometries to make it you know suit your fancy anyways so that's how these components can be wired off of the machine that this is installed on. Are you done? Sorry, that was my dog drinking water in the background. Okay, like we said in the other video, 1 8 inch NPT silencers, quarter inch NPT brass M male fitting, and then two quarter inch straight out um, both uh, for the hose and straight into the uh, solenoid. And these are the manual actuator override buttons right here. Okay. <clears throat> so this was the uh, proof of concept testing pack right here that superseded uh, this style, <laughs> I guess you could say. So in order to take these apart, they have like a, a weatherproof sort of cap here, but really you need a, a small number one Phillips screwdriver or something similar. And just drive this long screw out. We don't have a screw tray here, but we should. And then it actually threads into the coil, which is this component here. This is your coil. And it has these two terminals. One has a positive, the other one nothing. So that's your positive, that's your negative. This third one is your ground. Right here. I think. There is a wiring schematic that I looked up for it, but doesn't make sense for it to be, well, yeah, it does make sense for it to be the ground if, if it faults. Or or maybe, hmm, I don't know. Somebody in the audience tell me. I'm not a genius. I just built shit. Okay, so we're taking this blue wire out. And we're going to do the exact same thing to this other, other side. Because what we're about to do is kind of fiddly in terms of the installation. And, um... I just want to fiddle a little less. These components are completely interchangeable. There's no left or right. There's no way to mix that up. It can sometimes be a pain in the arse to get out. got to go from the top. It's got to be done from the top. There. There you go. Don't suffer. Go straight. Go from the top to start. And there's really nothing on these boards. <laughs> board. It's the smallest circuitry board. There's an LED, and then I think that's a little... That might be a fault thing right there. I don't know. Somebody in the audience tell me. It says... Oh, it's not even a fucking frame. E... Sorry, 103. What? What is that component? K. 
Okay, and we're pulling the red one out. Go away. And so these blacks are our ground. They come to a Y. So that's good. They can be common. Um, and actually those can stay on the negative terminal. Good way to anchor these things. Okay, next, um, we need brown and yellow to go in respectively from the three-way. And the three-way that you want it, the side you want to choose in this case, has two powered, uh, no, sorry, uh, yeah, ah, right, um, these are in, these are negative, so, um, your power, right, which comes off the white, is, uh, gonna be shielded in this case, ah, good, so, yes, we had a brief moment there. Makes sense, because power comes in from here. Power being the white. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. And so these can be directly connected, yes. All right, we're going to cut here because I need to prep um, heat shrink.